Vida, come here. Come here. Good girl. Vida will take stuff from my hands now. I've not tried to pet her in the cage yet. Good girl. Little baby Vida, come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. See, that wasn't so scary, was it? Are you getting a bit braver? She will take stuff from my hand now, which is pretty exciting. Still gets nervous for if I reach towards her, but progress. So I'm really pleased that Huckle's eye is all better now. We're still doing drops. We just have to finish his little course because it's antibiotics. So you got to make sure you got everything. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I posted a picture of what his eye looked like before. Girls. Those two are kind of testy with each other. Just little random moments where somebody gets in somebody's face and they chatter a little bit and then that's that. It's kind of annoying. But I think that's because they're both the bottom pigs. So Veda's the very bottom and then Raisin. So there's a discrepancy between that. But it never amounts to anything else. It's just a little bit different than what I'm used to. Because normally the herd's also calm. But those two, little cheeky Veda and Ray, have little moments of chattering at each other. So anyway, back to Huckle. If you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, you can see the picture to see what his eye looked like. It was like bright red tissue that was coming out from under his upper eyelid that wasn't supposed to be there. And it shrunk back down and went back where it's supposed to go. So I'm very happy. And then we have Miss Velvie, who is eating pretty decent on her own. I'm still giving her extra food if she'll take it. Because her poops are still a bit smaller than I would like. Uh, her teeth are still coming in. Like the one bottom one that was cracked still has a little bit more to grow. But I think I mentioned before, we have to wait six to eight weeks to see like what the final result is for whether she's going to be good or if she's going to need more trimming or what. That's all I have left, so I didn't put in the syringe. You just have to eat it off of there. But she's doing pretty good now for taking feedings just from in the cage if I just offer her some syringe food, which is nice. Nice that I don't have to take her out and bug her because it's much easier if they're eating on their own terms. And she does pretty good with veggies in the morning. I just have to make sure that I cut them in strips. And I also picked up some cilantro because that was something that's easy to slip in her mouth and she really likes that. And the radicchio, if I cut it in strips, is good. I bought shredded carrot. I know I could shred my own carrots, but... I bought a whole bag of shredded carrot. And then like the green pepper I have to cut into smaller slices. But yeah, we're getting there. One of the nicest things is um, for a while there, her chin and like the front of her chest was just absolutely soaked. So it's nice to see that that's going away. So... Yeah, I really don't like waiting. I don't have very good patience, but we have to be patient to see how her mouth ends up and if she has to keep getting trims done. I was glad that it wasn't her molars that were a mess. So it makes me hopeful that we could just keep her incisors looking nice easier. So she's ate all the stuff that I had. That was just the last bits. Because normally I syringe it to her, but it's just a little bit that I can't scoop up. So she's done well. Just trying to get lots of stuff moving through her system. Are you coming out, Velvy, or no? Autumn is doing really well over here. She's nice and calm and seems very comfortable being by the other pigs. She has tons of poops, very healthy poops, so she's eating awesome. So that's really nice. 
these guys are doing great with their new space. Buzz is always flying around the cage. I gotta try to see if I can get it on film. But he loves to just like tear around because now he has a lot more running room. So we'll see if I can catch that at some point. But the sisters are doing great. I'm just really, really hoping that I can get all four of these guys together. Time will tell. Little cuties. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!